A new multidisciplinary exhibition called The Bureaucrat is raising a lot of eyebrows. Here's why in our next report. Who is the man in the center of this picture? Who are the people surrounding him? And what's the reason for this massive gathering? These questions and many others are prompted by this monumental painting, The Bureaucrat, which is on display in the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. Though the setting of this scene is in modern Israel, its creator, Matan ben Kanan, says that one source of inspiration was the deportation of Jews in Europe during the Holocaust. I tried to under understand how it feels to stand in these moments of horror, uh, of a decision that you, you know, you, someone w woke up one day and found himself in the center of the city in, in the uh, Potsdam uh, and uh, meeting people that he never met and being transported to places he's never been. Ben Kanan took hundreds of photos using around 70 extras in a park near Tel Aviv before he started to paint. A turning point came in when acclaimed author David Grossman saw the piece and decided to contribute his own narration, describing his personal interpretation of the painting. Grossman's text is played as a part of the exhibition in three languages, Hebrew, Arabic, and English. When I first opened the email with his text, I was, I was really afraid because I told myself, wait, if he didn't even, you know, it, I'm sure it will be written best, but what if he didn't, you know, understand what I wanted to say? But he, he, it was like he, he entered my mind. It is not very common to see an exhibition dedicated to only one painting. Curator Amitai Mendelssohn tries to explain the power of this piece. The painting is mysterious. It, it doesn't have a, a solution to it. It's not a painting that you say, this is depicting this and that or the other. It stays mysterious. Even after uh, we listen and read David Grossman, the realm of mystery is still there. We still don't know what exactly is happening in this work. I think that's one of the powerful things in the, in the piece. Mendelssohn also compares this work to classic artworks, such as Gustave Corva's A Burial at Orna from the 19th century. In the meantime, the figures in this painting and their role remain open, as Grossman puts it when he refers to one of the characters in the painting. Quote, could his bare foot be reminding them of a memory long silenced and buried? The memory of a distant catastrophe? One that might reoccur? 